I'm Scrapper Brad here. So I recently came across this Dell Force 10, um, it's a power supply for a Dell Force 10 internet switch. I've done a video on taking one of these apart before because I do have an in with a business that gives me several of these. Um, in fact, they gave me four this time and they no longer work. Otherwise, I think I would try to sell them. But they are lots of fun to take apart. So I just thought I'd make another video and uh, show you what I got from all four of them after I've broken them down. I think I'll just break down one of them on camera and then when I'm done I'll show you what I got from the totals after uh, after I've broken those all down. So let's get started on this. Now first there is a screw under this uh, sticker here. I'm just going to take that out. Four more around uh, around the base here, and then there's one under here that I need to take off to take this top panel off. Now, if, I know I've said this before, but I do really need to get me like a, some type of drill, or you know, an electric an electric drill would take unscrewing these things. It would it would make that a lot faster. But as I've mentioned several times before, uh, one of the reasons that I am scrapping is because I'm trying to save up money for a really fun 20th anniversary trip with my wife in uh, a little over three years. And any money that I use to buy tools or upgrade my equipment will come out of that vacation fund that I'm building. And so that's less money towards, that would be less money towards that vacation or that fun anniversary trip that I'd be taking with my wife. All right, so take that panel off. And of course, I want as much money as I can uh, going towards that anniversary fund. But I think I might have to uh, give in and get a drill. Anyway, so we've got the panel off here. And it's just kind of a sheet of paper. Take that off. And so what that reveals is we've got two circuit boards here. Uh, this one is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some gold fingers there. And then also under these, there's some gold plated pins. So I'll throw this board in once I've taken it out. I'll throw it in with my gold bearing circuit boards. And then this board is just a low grade board. Um, you'll probably notice those of you that do e-waste or have taken apart a lot of uh, electronics will notice that with these circuit boards, you have things like the, I think they're called toroids, or something like that. Uh, I've heard them called copper donuts. Uh, I've got the transformers and other things on there. Uh, my yard gives me typically around 15 cents a pound for low grade boards. And then for gold bearing circuit boards, they give anywhere from 25 cents to $1.50 per pound. I'm usually, I usually get around a dollar per pound on average for gold bearing circuit boards. But wow, this is really dusty in here. Uh, the ones I've taken apart in the past haven't typically been this dusty. At any rate, let's start to let's start uh, pulling the things out of here. So the first thing I'm going to get rid of, or that I'm going to take out, are the fans. The business that gave me these um, said that the fans are probably, if anything does work on these, it's probably the fans. And I know you can resell you can excuse me resell them and reselling if you if you're able to sell them is always better than scrapping but when i was talking to them about that they said these fans are so easy to get new that you you know you might have a hard time selling them um, uh, selling them used and all dirty like this and especially if you don't know that they work whether or not they work you know it's probably better not to try to sell them Fortunately, this is just plastic, and it'll just go in the garbage. So I'll go ahead and cut these fans out. Let's pull these wires off. got a 
first bit of wire here. Um, you could throw this in with electronic wire, but I like to upgrade it a bit. I'll go ahead and I'll cut these, cut these little brass plug ends off. And I could take the time to uh, remove this plastic and turn them into gr uh, clean brass, but I usually don't. I just throw these in, I keep them in a separate little bucket and I throw them in or sell them as dirty brass to the scrapyard I go to. And then these typically don't have enough brass in them to amount to anything. So I just throw these away. Then I have uh, a nice set of 60% uh, wire. Go from there, I'll turn it over. And that low grade circuit board has, uh, that's uh, bolted in with these four screws here. And while I'm taking that off, uh, I'd like to uh, send some congratulations to Scrapping Scotland. Uh, he just reached 1,000 subscribers. Um, if you haven't uh, checked out his channel, you should go check it out. And I think you should subscribe as well. He puts out a lot of good content. Um, he does a lot of... Uh, he works out of his shop there, and he does a lot of small, uh, small items. So if you really want to uh, learn how to scrap a lot of uh, smaller items, his is a great channel to go to. So yeah, congratulations. Okay, turn that over. So as you see, that low-grade board does come, just kind of comes right out. Now this is a nice piece of sheet aluminum. Um, I will clean that up. I'll take it off from the, the circuit board and I will clean that up. First thing I would need to do is there's a bolt here that holds this MOFSET or MOSFET. I'm not sure what you call those. Is it MOSFET or MOFSET? Go ahead and correct me in the comments. That bolt there. Go ahead and unscrew the Moths it from the aluminum here. Okay. And of course, it's still connected by these wires. Now, you could just cut these off. A lot of people do that. I'm, and I do end up cutting these off later, but I like to unscrew them first and then I'll cut it off. And just throw these in with dirty brass again. And of course, just because that's the way I do it, doesn't mean that's always the right way. I think we all have our own ways of scrapping things. And because I'm a hobby scrapper, uh, so much of what I do and don't do is more on whether I like doing it or not. If I did this as a profession, I'm sure I would do a lot of things differently. And maybe even not take the time to open these up. I may just, because um, there's so many other things that you can do that are more, probably a better money maker. So I'd probably just turn these power supplies in as is. I don't think, um, I know some scrap yards would just take them. If I was to turn the whole power supply in as is, they would just take them as uh, shred steel. But I think mine would give me a little bit, a little bit better price on that. All right, so we've got that taken out and the screws undone. There is an adhesive in the bottom of these, bottom of these so I do have to go in and kind of pry it out. So now we've got that separated. The only thing I'll take off of this, I know there's a lot of good stuff I could take off, but the only thing I will really take off is this, uh, again, MOFSET, MOSFET, however you pronounce that. And then I'll just sell this as a regular dirty, or excuse me, regular uh, low-grade board. Now, and I may end up sometime taking off, you know, these things just, but for now, my plan is just to sell it as a low-grade board. And this, this has a layer of plastic plus these adhesive uh, padding things. I'm not sure what these are called. Now, they're really spongy and... Anyway, maybe you guys can enlighten me in the comments. 
I'll just go ahead pull off, start pulling off the plastic. Unfortunately, it still leaves uh, these little bits here that I have to clean off. Do that's pretty simple. I'll just kind of scratch them off with a flathead screwdriver. And while they're not entirely clean, that scrapyard I go to outside is clean enough. Okay, it's got a clean piece of sheet aluminum. Again, I'll cut these off. Right. While I'm doing that, like, like to welcome a couple of or some relatively new scrappers to uh, to the YouTube scrapping family that I've been subscribing and watching. Uh, I'd like to welcome T and B Metals. It's a father son team. I believe they just do it part time, um, but they've got a nice workshop at their at their place that they go out and do a lot of make a lot of good videos that I enjoy watching. Another one that I've subscribed to is Scrappy Do-Gooder. Again, a relatively new scrapper. Does a lot of good stuff. Um, watched good videos on taking apart appliances like a washing or drying machine and microwaves. So, and of course, Rixie's Metals. I can't remember if Rixie's is really new. But I just uh, I just subscribed to them not too long ago. So you gotta go. I just recommend you go check out their channel, all of their channels, and put out good stuff and subscribe to them. Okay, we're almost done here. Just some more dirty brass. And some number one, or excuse me, number two uh, insulated copper wire. Now, this is thick enough that I could possibly strip this and uh, make more money. Now, I know it, you know, clean copper is always worth more than insulated copper, but weight wise, it may actually make sense to strip this. I'll have to do an experiment on that. I'm going to go ahead and just take this wire out as well.
and super dusty. And now the last thing I'm really worried about is taking uh, the circuit board out. There is the where the plug goes in. I could take that out, but excuse me. Usually I don't. Um, it's a little more effort than it's worth to me personally, so I typically don't. I just leave it in and throw it in with the steel shred. ton faster if I got some sort of electric drill or that. But in the meantime, I really don't mind using uh, hand tools. Okay, as you can see, here are the gold fingers. And then here are the gold pins here. These are these pins are not gold plated. I know that uh, many scrappers and many people that process e-waste will cut off these fingers here. And I know a lot of uh, people that I or a lot of YouTubers that I follow will actually refine their own, you know, do their own gold refining with things like this. Or if they just cut them off, they'll sell them to places like Board Sort. Um, just with shipping costs and everything, um, it actually just it's about sixes if I sell it to my scrap yard or if I uh, uh, sell them to board sort. So just for the ease of it, I sell boards like this to my scrap yard. Luckily, they do take uh, circuit boards. I know a lot of uh, scrap yards don't. But I'd be interesting, interested to know what you do um, as scrappers with the circuit boards you get. Anyway, I'll take the rest of the uh, power supplies apart that I've got, and then I'll go ahead and summarize uh, everything that we uh, got from the first thing is the steel shred. As I've mentioned earlier in the video, I had four of these power supplies. The majority of the weight came from the steel shred. Total, they weighed three pounds each, so with four of them, that's a total of 12 pounds. And here is about five pounds of steel. Next, we got this clean sheet aluminum. Last time I went to my scrapyard, they paid me 49 cents a pound for it, and this is just under one pound. Then we got these fan motors. Last time I took in computer fan motors just like this, uh, they paid me 17 cents a pound. So not a lot, but still better than going into the landfill. Next, we got these low-grade circuit boards. Now, as I mentioned also in, earlier in the video, there are a lot of good things that I could pull off of these, and I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do so. Most likely, I'm just going to turn them in as is. My scrapyard pays 15 cents a pound for, uh, well, they call it board breakage, but really just low-grade boards. In total, these weigh two, uh, two pounds or two and three quarters of a pound. Now, we have the gold-bearing circuit boards. As I mentioned earlier, uh, there's the gold fingers here is where most of the gold is, but there's also gold in these pins along here. My scrapyard pays anywhere from 25 cents to $1.50 a pound for gold bearing circuit boards. Just on average, they've usually given me around a dollar to $1.25 a pound. These have a little bit less gold on them than, uh, than the boards that I've normally turned in, so I'd say probably about if I had to guess, they'd probably give me about 90 cents a pound for these types of boards. Last, we got all of this electronic wire. Now, I have cleaned off the uh, brass plug ends, so I can throw these in with my 60% wire. There's about four ounces here, so not a lot, but it all does add up. I also ended up with about two ounces worth of those brass plug ends, but they all still have the plastic on them, and I don't think I'm going to clean those off. 
So those will go on as dirty brass. And currently my yard is paying around somewhere between 10 and, excuse me, yeah, 12 and 20 cents a pound for the brass, for dirty brass. And with wire like this, I usually get anywhere from 90 to 90 cents to $1.50 per pound. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it this far in the video, as always, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.